can about guarantee that this is not what you thought was going to be happening in this video. But yeah, Father Claydar does play a little Fortnite. So growing up, we did not have video games in my household. And I remember being a kid and going to people's house and whether it was Nintendo 64 and playing Mario Kart or like Super Smash Brothers, I was terrible. And that was just a little tiny cross that I had to carry when I was a kid. But then growing up, um, once like I was a priest, COVID kind of happened and a few of us priests got few consoles to be able to keep in touch when we were, you know, on lockdown. And a buddy of mine had uh, an Xbox and I was at his house and he's like, yeah, we play Fortnite on Saturdays. So I go, oh, I've heard of that game. So uh, I started playing with him on Saturday sometimes. And there was this guy by the name of uh, Dave Moore, who is a musician that we had at the mission. And that's how we met was playing Fortnite. But uh, early on, the old Father Claydar being terrible at video games, uh, it, was, it was a thing. So yeah, that was a shot of me trying to catch up with Dave, who's playing really well, and my motorcycle, when I get off, keeps going, and it knocks him off the hill to his demise, and he had no idea what happened, and I was like, not one of my best moments, sorry man. So yeah, I'm still not the greatest at the video games. So what once was just the biddiest little seed of skill uh, with good friendship, and camaraderie and a bit of practice, Dave and I actually got pretty good at playing the game together, specifically as a team. When we're together, we got this sort of chemistry and yeah, we, we have some fun and we have some good moments. So obviously, as your pastor, my official position is we should spend less time on technology and play less video games. We should go outside. It's a lot more fun outside. But the point here is that our parable this month is the mustard seed. And sometimes when we think uh, about holiness, it can be daunting in today's world to try to be holy and to try to live as the saints that God created us to be. And one of the most important things that I've always said is you are who you hang out with. And we need good, holy friends to help us. There's a reason Christ sent the apostles out two by two. And while we may not be the saints we're wanting to be today, when we have our roots go deep in the sacraments and we have good and holy friends who keep us accountable and help us laugh, uh, and to enjoy life, which is good and intended to be a joyful thing. Brothers and sisters, it is amazing where our faith journey takes us. So stay, stay spontaneous and don't be afraid to go into places that are a little uncomfortable. And when you have good friends with you, the Lord can do amazing things.